the entire episode was basically like a training arc. And we still... And, and that the craziest thing is, this is a training arc for the actual training arc to begin. Because, like, the last episode was just fundamental. Surviving in our house, where everything is just trying to kill us. Bro, the alarm clock tries to blow us up. The food is poisoned. My man Tayo couldn't take a dookie for, like, an entire... A month? Was it three weeks? No, I'm sure he took a shit somewhere. Wait, but did he ever unlock the door? Was he constipated towards, the, like, the, the entire, like, three weeks of the month? I don't really want to know, but he figured it out. And how did he do it? at the cost of his own health, right? He's just crazy, brute forcing everything, just trains harder than anyone else. And we can already see from the earlier episodes that he's a maniac. And he needs to be like that if he wants to catch up to the strength of these super, like super humans. That's, you know, basically the product of selective breeding in this Yozakura family, right? I don't know what we're gonna do in this episode, assuming more training because it's gonna be the actual training arc. Let's begin today's episode. Curry, laxative curry. So, is that the laxatives? Okay, so basically, <laughs> after the proper food is good, then she pours this shit in, which is to basically strengthen the family. Very cute. What are you? Is this training too? Is he's no? This is disguise training. It's important. The cat thing guy. He's always doing disguises, right? No, no, no. The cross dressing is very important in terms of you know being a spy. Yeah, how do you put on a bra? <laughs> <laughs> Whose bra is that? Is that Mutsumi's? I think she's a little disappointed that her husband is a, is into cross dressing, huh? Some girls love that shit. <laughs> Who are? Do I remember her? I I I I've been paying attention. I think this is a new character, unless this is a new character in disguise. Uh, the only Onesa last episode. What the fuck happened? What? She's a one of the sisters we didn't see yet. This is not a disguise, right? Who are you? The fucking Kengo. It's fucking. It's, it's Kengo just cross dressing again, bro. <laughs> no, it's not what you think this is. No, no, this is not the fan kid, the blonde kid, the boy with that always cross dress. No, this is an actual girl, big sister that exists in our school. Or uh, Kengo is the, the name of the fan guy, though, right? There it is. It's the power of these fucking masks. It's the power of these fucking masks and the fucking titties. <laughs> Don't tell me that in that voice, bro. <laughs> no, no chew. What is going on right now in this family, bro? What, what, what in the fuck is going on? You see Mutsumi fucking poison the curry. Tayo is in a bra right now. Kengo has got some titties. Plan four. Kengo slash Shinzo. So these two are going to be the focus of today's episode. Shinzo is kind of just like awkward and shy and nervous, I think. Counterfeit money. Do we get to have a trash can too? Oh, he's so cool. He's so cool. No look. No look catch. Okay, the no look catch I can kind of I can kind of agree with, but the fact that he was able to throw it without any change in body posture, with the power of his just the elbow and the wrist here, the arm, he's got superhuman strength. What kind of fucking training has he done that would allow this kind of fucking strength? What the fuck? Holy shit! And this is pre-training, yeah. This isn't even no no. We're too busy. Oh, I just realized Goriath. There's a little Goriath accessory on his bag. That was pretty cool, bro. Superhuman genes out of fucking nowhere? I don't know. Yeah, more, yeah, you are like more and more superhuman. Really? Like that I can understand, right? Like this, this kind of stuff, being able to walk quietly without the presence, I can understand that. But like, what kind of training have we done last episode that gifts him that kind of fucking arm strength? Have we been working out like that? What the fuck? Ah. Uh... Uh, 
What the fuck? This is what happens when you're the head of a family like this and there's so much paperwork you gotta do. Oh, she been, oh she's not just randomly just going like this. That's a lot of fucking paper. All right. All right, so Mutsumi, she's not just here to fuck around and just poison her food. She does some important head of family stuff. <laughs> Fake divorce paper. <laughs> What's Kengo requesting? Kengo's room was so crazy with all the different outfits he had. I don't think bro has once had a disguise as like a man though, right? Because every disguise we've seen from Kengo so far, I swear has just been some kind of girl to bait us, bro. Yo, that's some nice sushi. What? What is this? This is a messy- Yo, you think my room is messy? Fuck Kengo's room, bro! He's a nudist. Maybe? <laughs> Not really, he's a free spirit. The skin's exhausted from the disguises. I'm healing it now. Okay, so there's an actual reason on why he's naked. I thought that he just puts on different, like, skin grafts, these masks, but, like, it actually does some kind of damage. It fatigues him, so he needs to heal it by being naked? It's gotta be a bullshit excuse. Is it real? Don't tell Big Bro that. <laughs> what about Kyochido, bro? How long ago was that? Discipline. You're gonna correct Kengo? <laughs> thought he was gonna put something on there for a second. So quick! Yo, I thought you were fucking healing your skin. What do you mean? Some head of family mechanics you can do with the house. Quarantine. We're basically just like locking up our fucking house. Okay. What is this? Some kind of factory? Important suit people? Something about counterfeit money, something about an emblem. She own magnifier. Zoom X ray video recording. This is his technology. Real money? Fake money? <laughs> That youngster. Next villain. Who's that youngster, though? Hmm. <laughs> Big bro! What's he gonna. Oh, oh, oh. Surprise is not in this regular trash can, though. <laughs> that sounds big, bro. Is like this is a family. There's one person that's just not like the rest of them. Wait, she usually only wears an oversized T-shirt, so I don't know if she's wearing anything underneath. But right now she's doing a handstand, so the oversized T-shirt should be down, and then. There's her answer. There's her answer. Okay, she was always wearing booty short jeans. Okay. I really wondered all the time. It's like, what does she got underneath, you know? It's like, is she always got that big, long shirt. Is this supposed to make us think that she's wearing nothing? But there it is. It's like DDR, but with hands? Like, what is she doing? You're not exercising. This is like basically we Fit, you know? It's basically exercises that you do to keep yourself in shape while gaming. <laughs> <laughs> she is such an OG son, dude. You know Blue Archive? She you know that Lolly that always calls herself, you know, OG son? She is also like an OG son type. Well, she's like a grandmother. She's always like knitting and shit too. Huh? Okay, good, we got the masks on. This is Goryas's room? Wait, no, no, whose room is this? This is not a room just for Goryas, right? No shot. This is not the pet room, right? This is someone else's room? Whose room is this? Whose room is it? Oh, we just skipped it. So I guess it is Goryas' room. I thought it was like Big Bro. No, it's... Oh my god. 
<laughs> Goriath is the most pampered, most like a uh, pampered, what's it called? Spoiled pet, huh? Holy shit, everything is so sparkly and gold. That's an actual tank, bro. This is probably Shinzo, right? Okay, this, this is an actual problem, bro. This is like beyond obsessive. I don't even know what to call this, bro. Yeah, we out. We don't talk about that. Oh, wait! Wait, Kengo was hiding! That was one of the paintings, maybe. Somewhere here. Kengo was there. Kengo, can, can Kengo hide as a paint? No, he was clearly here, right? Grandma. Again. What? What? Every exhibit we just saw was actually Kengo? They were all Kengo. Every room we even Goriath maybe? Wait, even Goriath? No, I don't believe Goriath. How would he turn into Go What the fuck? Cause like every so everyone so far we they were in their own rooms, but apparently they were actually in a different room, you know, doing some kind of assessment on the drug. So like it, it, even maybe Goriath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kengo's here, right? As a painting? How are you Mona Lisa right now? How, how are you popping out? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Where'd he go? I thought he knocked into something. He just threw a frame at him. Kengo's really good at disguises, huh? I mean, that's, her, that's his entire thing. We ah, uh, it's so tricky. It's Tayo right now. It's not Kengo. What's the word? Tayo go. Wait, this is Kengo right? Where did Tayo go then? What the fuck? Got me again every time. I just. You gotta be so schizo about this. Everyone is Kengo, man. This is still Kengo right there as Tayo. Oh, but Mutsumi knew. Where did Tayo go though, yeah? He just got chucked in there. So you know he's stuck there right now. No one's helping him out. Poor Tayo. She's pretty smart. What the fuck? How the fuck was I supposed to know that? Okay. My husband and me. This is mom. Little Mutsumi. Oh, look at their little outfits. Look at the onesies, bro. Look at the onesies, bro. It's so tiny. It's so cute. Dude, these anime babies are so fucking hilarious because their head or their, their, their faces are so fucking huge compared to their bodies. Just like, um, even in level two of, sorry, the appraisal isekai ours, right? Their, their head is just like, they're actually little chibi models, yeah? <laughs> oh, fuck, dude, this mask, man. We gotta call you big bro? So, no formality. We're gonna be more casual. We bonded with Kengo Nisa? Now, nah, what's Shinzo up to? Is he okay with the mission? <laughs> only one, only one of them. I thought she maybe drawn every one of them. You promise not to display these without my permission. But you know he probably has like 10 different copies of this ready to go up. Gordy has very cute. Definitely don't have to take a shit right now. Explosive diarrhea because of your goddamn poison. Yeah, laxatives. Some great, some cyanide. You think Goriath foods is also poisoned? Maybe? Honestly, I'm surprised Goriath is eating out of a food bowl right here. Because, like, Goriath, I'd expect if someone's so pampered to have a room like that, I would expect Goriath to actually have a seat on the fucking table and eat dinner like a human. <laughs> Shinzo. Okay, he's not doing so well. 
Yeah. What's going on? Did he get captured? What the fuck? <laughs> He's a gun freak. He knows everything about guns. So he did survive, but what about everyone else? Did he kill everyone? He's super, like, weak-willed, but super strong with all the guns. Well, other than like saving Mutsumi that one day, like this is another kind of like a mission. What is the story? Oh, this is the soothing thing that she said that she was gonna do. Okay. <laughs> okay, what now, Tayo? Oh. What? Oh, oh, okay. Cause the gun, do, 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 do. So if you fucking just lean back, it, I, it's, it can't go. Do, 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 do. So All right. Um, 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 uh, only in anime. Like, like, like. If you try to this, well, I would hope that none of you would ever be in this position. Cause if you're already in this position, something already went wrong, right? You're fucked, right? But if you're ever in this position, <laughs> may, maybe try. I don't know. This is not an advice. This is not an advice. All right, lean back and then fucking just elbow back. Oh. Bald! He got that vision. What? Stab proof clothes? I thought this is like the product of his like a superhuman training, but the clothing, okay. <laughs> Well, everything is fair, right? I mean, shit, I'm trying to survive, man. I, I mean, ball shots are- it's, it's your fault. Oh, pistol. What the fuck is- wait, 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 what is this- what is this animation of this gun? I thought it's just like a regular pistol. And the- look at this, the five pedals. I think this is the Yozakura, you know, the symbol, right? What the fuck? Yozakura self-defense gun EI. 8 million volt output. Okay, electric gun? <laughs> Mutsumi, what the fuck are these stories you're telling me? That's the whole thing of Big Brother Shinzu, right? Okay, everyone got their own little quirks. Oh, oh, he's so cool all of a sudden because he got a gun. I think that's the same Baldi. Bye bye. Don't need to grenade yourself like that. Well, I think that was like a smoke bomb, actually. Ooh, that's an actual bullet in you right through the thigh. Oh. There's like candy there though. I'm just gonna assume that this candy is just gonna heal him up. If we have like stab proof clothes, we should have some kind of crazy engineered candy that should be able to heal us. Yo, we might actually die. We might actually die from bleeding, bro. <laughs> And what did he relinquish there? His gun for what? Taiyo, because Taiyo matters more. So that's why what? The candy? What? What is it? <laughs> that, that's a fork. But maybe the fork will like extend. It's going to be like a different fucking weapon. <laughs> Throw it. <laughs> Okay, we're actually, actually maybe shooting to kill. Basically, the idea there was like, as long as there's something to grip, like, like it feels like I'm gripping a gun, it doesn't matter what it is. It could have been a fucking pencil. He could have just like thrown that shit and just like destroyed the other thing, huh? What are we going to do about that injury, dude? Like, is he just going to heal it faster? And the buckethead guy, Nana something, he was helping him out a lot. To protect my little bros. 
Yeah, he's all over the place. Sometimes he's super cool, sometimes he's super shy, but hey, he, at least he cares a lot, huh? Oh, what is this? That's a hammer. Uh, actual villains? He just goes around just like destroying bones with the... Oh, you spat at his face? All right, let, let's see some hammers onto the phones. So this is the same uh, place, right? We just came out of. This is the glasses guy? I can't tell. I, I think this is the place. Or maybe this is a whole separate environment. The guy, the glasses guy though, that we shot, didn't his glasses come off? This is not the same person, right? I don't think this is the same person. Maybe? I don't know. But there's this long hairy guy who I'm assuming is a different spy. <laughs> Next target, Tayo. And that's the episode. Today's episode I thought was gonna be more of training because last episode was the pre-training and this is gonna be the actual training. But one could say that, you know, getting to know Kengo and Shinzo was a little bit of training. So what do we know about Kengo? Um, crazy disguised person who always, you know, dresses up as a sussy girl to get the guys going. But then it's like, psych, it was, you know, big bro Kengo the entire time. He's only older by one year, but I think he wants to be casual with us, right? He got me multiple times. Bro. Every time it's like, who the fuck is this? It was Kengo the entire time I didn't even know. And yeah, he's just like a disguised master. On the other side, we have Shinzo. Big bro Shinzo is... He's, he can be like a really cool and competent person if he has a gun. But without it, he's just kind of like... Just like is reduced to this like really shy, insecure, nervous person that hides in the trash can. But as long as he's got something to grip, he'll basically, you know, be super OP. And he's willing to put down this gun that he loves and protects even more. If it's for the sake of someone that he loves even more, which is... Tayo, so Shinzo, amazing big bro. Quite refreshing to see, you know, an actual big brother that cares instead like, you know, big brother Kyochiro who's just trying to fucking kill us, but it is what it is. I think we also got to see the results of Tayo's training. Like, he's just super fucking fast, super strong. I don't know, like, I can understand him being able to, like, hide his footsteps, but the fact that he, like, he got the superhuman strength based off of the training that we saw last episode, does that make sense? I mean, you're not really supposed to make anime make sense, right? So, it's not that big of a deal. And here, at the end, we have some hammer dude. And I don't know what he's about. I'm just gonna assume that he's like a competitor spy family. And maybe this is the first actual villain. Like, we did have the Mr. Bomb guy. He was just kind of funny, right? Maybe this is gonna be an actual serious threat that we're gonna have in an actual arc in the future. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.